In this video, we solve problem 4.2.21 from Essentials of Statistics, sixth edition by Mario Triola. We're asked to use the following results from a test of marijuana use, uh, which is provided, I guess, which are provided uh, by a certain drug testing company. Among 141 subjects with positive test results, there are 26 false positives. And then among 159, negative test results, there were two false negative results. Then we're asked to complete parts A through C and we're given a hint, we're told to construct a table. The first question says, how many subjects were included in the study? Um, so I'm going to construct that table on my piece of paper. So I'll share my paper with you now. Here we go. All right, so let's do what they suggested. Let's construct that table. So we've got uh, test results for marijuana use, and we have what are referred to as false positives and false negatives. So let's, let's look at it this way. We're gonna construct a two by two table. So let's say that in this row, we're talking about people that actually use drugs. And then in this, column will have positive test results. And in this row, we'll have um, people that do not use drugs. And in this column, we'll have negative test results. Okay, and they instruct us to construct a table we have enough information from the information that they've provided to fill this out completely. Now, typically when you've got your two by two table like this, you like to put, or I like to put, and many people like to put totals for each row and totals for each column around the outside edge of that table. And then if you add these two guys together, you're gonna get the total number of tests um, or the total number of basically data points or sample values in this study. And we're gonna find the same um, number if we add up these two guys over here. So let's fill this in given what they, they tell us up here. It says among 141 subjects with positive test results. Okay, so let's start with that. There are 141 that have positive test results. there are 26 false positives. And what that means is that you have a positive test result where the person did not actually use drugs. So those are our 26 false positives. And then it says among 159 negative results, there are two false negatives. And a false negative is a negative test result. So it says that the person does not use drugs when they actually do. Okay, and then it says complete parts A through C. First, and the hint is construct a table. The first thing says, how many subjects are in the study? Well, we know that there were 141 positive test results total and 159 negative test results total. So if we add those together, we're gonna get all of the um, test results in our study or all of this, this is the same as the number of subjects in our study. So I've got 141 plus 159, and that's 300. So it looks like there are 300 people in our study. Let's go back to sharing our screen, or I'll share my screen with you, excuse me. So that's not what I want. <laughs> Trying to get to that homework assignment. There we are right there. The total number of subjects in the study was 300. Let's see what they, they say. Yes, excellent. We added the um, positive test results to the negative test results and we got 300 um, subjects in the study. which is the same as the total number of test results we have. Okay, let's see what else they ask us. Then the question says, how many subjects did not use marijuana? Okay, in order to do this, I'm going to show you my paper again. 
Let me write down the question as well. How many subjects did not use marijuana? How do you spell marijuana? There we go. Or in other words, how many non-drug users do we have? Well, the way we can find the number of non-drug users is to just finish filling in this table. So I know that I had 26 non-drug users or people that did not use marijuana in the positive test results group. Now I don't actually have the number of subjects that did not use uh, marijuana from the negative test results group, but we can infer it. If you had 159 negative test results and two of those results were um, false negatives, so we had drug users um, that got a negative test result, everyone else in that 159 must have been a non-drug user that got a negative test result. So if there were 159 of those and two of these, this must be 157. And then we can add these two guys together to get the total number of non-drug users or non-marijuana users in our um, sample. So we will have 26 plus 157, and that's 183. Okay. So I'll go back to sharing my screen with you. All right, there was a total of 183 subjects that did not use marijuana. Okay, great. And then the last question says, what is the probability that a randomly selected subject did not use marijuana? Okay. So we got that 183. And this is actually not too difficult at all. So the probability that a subject did not use marijuana is the probability or is the total number of people in our study that did not use marijuana. And I'm just going to leave off the word marijuana, did not use the drugs, um, divided by the total number of people in our sample or the total number of subjects in the study. And there were 300 of those folks. So this is easy breezy. We're just going to take the number of people who did not use the drugs. That was 183. And you're going to divide by the total number of people in the study. So that's 300. That is our answer. You could simplify it. 183 divided by 300 turns out to be a 61 and 100, which is the same as 0.61. So there's a 61% chance of selecting a person that did not use marijuana from those that were um, included in the study. So let's go back, make sure that, oops, sorry about that. Let's go here. Here we go. It says, do not round the final answer, or do not round until the final answer, and then round to three decimal places as needed. So we'll say 0 0.610. And that's it. That's how we solve that problem.